Hi, everyone. This week, it's a rarity. Three Sefer Torahs in Shul. Parshat Miketz, Shabbos Rosh Chodesh, and of course, Shabbos Chanukah. Before I address what I think the message might be of having these three Sefer Torah, besides Shul being a little bit longer than usual, I'd like to share an idea that I heard from Rabbi Shalom Razna from Israel. And he said, you know, last week's parasha, Vayeshev, Yosef starts off at the top of the world, and by the end of the parasha, he's in a jail somewhere in Egypt. Parasha Smikates this week, Yosef starts off in the dungeon, in the jail, and yet at the end of the parasha is the second most powerful man in Egypt. How did that happen so quickly? So Rabbi, Rabbi Razna points out a very really important point, and that is, last week's parasha by Yeshev, Yosef's on top of the world and he tells over the dreams to his brothers and to his father, but the dreams are about himself. He's very self-absorbed. When a person becomes so self-absorbed, no matter where they are in their station of life, eventually they're going to end up at the bottom. In contrast, Parshas Miketz, Yosef tells over the, the dreams that are concerning Paro and the Egyptian people, and as a matter of fact, the whole world. When one concerns themselves with other people's dreams, no matter where they are in the world, they will rise to the top. And I think that may be perhaps a segue into the three parashiyot that we're reading this Shabbat. You see, one is about Shabbat, Parshas Miketz. One is about Chanukah. And of course, one is about Rosh Chodesh. And they all deal with light. Shabbat deals with the light of the home, Shalom Bayit. Chanukah is the Chanukiah, the light that we're supposed to share with the rest of the world, or at least certainly in our community. Those who walk by our homes can see the light. And then, of course, the light of the moon, the new moon, Rosh Chodesh. And so perhaps the lesson is that we are to use the light to have an impact on our home, our family, and our friends. And then the Chanukiah, the light should have an influence, and we should be a positive influence on our community, in our shul, in our school. And then finally, Rosh Chodesh, the light of the moon, which really is the moon for the whole world, that we should be a light into the rest of the world. We should have an influence to anybody and anyone we come in contact with. And perhaps that's why the rabbis, instead of making one reading of the Torah, three, that we shouldn't lose those unique messages to be a a positive force in our home, in our community, and the larger world. So I want to wish you Chanukah Sameach, Shabbat Shalom, Chodesh Tov, and thanks for listening.